Look how juicy it is. Look at the pool. Oh, oh. Look at that. That's great. This did a great job. Today we're gonna to be seeing another Cooking with Jack video against my better judgment. And hopefully today all of you will enjoy this video and I would greatly appreciate it if you could help out this video or any of my other videos by likes, shares, subscriptions, and even by actually watching the video longer because watch time is the most important thing. Woo! Yeah! yeah. Hmm. I think the beginning of this video is wrong because it, it doesn't say McCormick's bag and seasoning. Instead, it says football finger food, shrimp and chorizo, quesadillas with smoky guacamole. And I don't think we're going to be seeing that today. We are cooking like fiends. That's right, we're going crazy in the kitchen on the Cooking with Jack show. One recipe after another. Guess what's coming soon? That's right, chili, soups, and stews. So if you got anything special, anything unique, uh, you got a turtle soup recipe? Send it my way. Turtle soup recipe? That's something I've never tried before. You got a killer award-winning chili? I have one already in the in the email box, but send them on over. We haven't reviewed his chili recipe yet. I assume it's gonna be something like the last enchilada video that we reviewed, and I need a little time to recover from that video. Right now, though, we're doing a product review. It's called Bag and Season. Bag and season original chicken. Okay, so the skin or no skin on the whiteboard is not actually written on there. It looks a little too perfect anyway. It looks like a computer did it. Now I haven't used a bag and seasoning, a prepackaged thing like this since I was probably that big. My mom used to do this thing called shake and bake. That's right, I think they still have it. And you put it in a bag and you shake it up and then you bake it. There's a movie that Will Ferrell actually made and all he kept saying in that movie was Shake and bake! And I can't get it out of my head now. I'm gonna do half a chicken in this and then another half a chicken in my regular gourmet seasoning that I have, mm. uh, the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste, and we're gonna see if there's a difference. I'm not looking to say mine's better than this. That's not why we're doing this. Well, that's nice that Jack's not trying to show that his product's better than McCormick's, but it does say the best gourmet seasoning that you will ever taste, so <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose. Also, if anybody has actually tasted Jack's seasoning, please let me know what any of his seasonings actually taste like. I'm just doing a lazy season with mine on chicken in a pan and then using their bag and seasoning and seeing if it's moister if it has a, a good flavor. I'll let you know if this is good. Moister, I kind of see where this video is going. Since I've been living overseas, I have noticed that my grammar has actually gotten a lot worse. So I'll leave it to all of you to correct the correction that he corrected, unless he didn't need to correct his correction that he created. All right, so let's open this up carefully. Pretty nice size bag. I'm gonna place the chicken in there. That's it. We're just going to sprinkle the seasoning on top. We're not going to like rub it into the meat or anything or not even a little bit of oil. And it does help actually rubbing the seasoning on maybe a little salt. There we go. Nice and tight. And then it says just to poke four little holes. So I'm gonna snip four little holes with the scissors. And to be honest about this, I am not too sure of McCormick's little bag here. It seems more like a gimmick because keep in mind, this bag has to withstand pretty high temperatures in the oven. So basically what McCormick is trying to give you is a cheat on how to steam. If you don't have the luxury of being able to afford to buy a combi oven, there are tricks that you can do without sticking the food in a plastic bag. You can even put a tray of water underneath in the oven to help give it a a little bit of humidity while you're cooking. It's not gonna be the same thing as a actual combi oven, but it will help. We're gonna do the best gourmet seasoning over taste. This is how I normally would do it. That would be it. And then I would just throw that in and uh, in the oven. Again, that's it, like no oil or anything. Let's define what gourmet means real quick. Relating to or being of a high quality. Specialty food typically requiring elaborate and expert preparation. And if we take a quick look, the seasoning has a very distinctive green hue to it. Like, it looks almost a little bit artificial. Okay, if you're just doing the chicken in the bag recipe, 350 degrees for 30 minutes, two and a half pounds of chicken that's seasoned with some vegetables. I'm gonna cook a little longer because I'm putting them side by side so it's gonna take longer to cook. 
With sous vide, you cook under the vacuum, so there's no air or there shouldn't be any air in the bag. And you're cooking either in steam, so in a combi oven, because this is an easy way of actually using a good combi oven. You can just put the bags in the oven, set it to the temperature that you want, or you put it in water at a certain temperature, exact temperature that you want something to cook at. And the plastic's not going to melt. I just don't think it's a good idea to be using this. I can see like some pretty bad accidents happening. Anytime there's meat involved, you want to oh. just let it sit for a few minutes. You can still see the seasoning on the vegetables. It's just piled on there. And on top of that, it still has this green hue to it. It looks like it kind of boiled in the oven, like it wasn't hot enough. There is no color on this chicken. Well, there's very little color on the chicken, I should say. And when you bake chicken like this, if you don't have enough color on the skin, what you can do, a little trick, is to actually take the chicken, get a saute pan or a flat top, get it super hot, oil, and sear the chicken to get a very nice color on it. As well, it will help crispen the skin. Okay, I can tell you right now, I haven't even cut it open yet. There's steam coming out. The seasoning, though, is definitely smelling good. Even with a normal oven, if you have a lot of humidity in it and you go to open it, you need to stand back because otherwise you can get a face full of steam and you don't want to be going to the hospital. Trust me, it hurts. I have to say, this looks more attractive than that. Okay, so let's cut into the thigh here. The juice is running, right? Cut a piece of that right off. Leave that right there. First of all, this is a little hard to see because it's an old video and he is cutting at the edge of the camera, but he didn't cut the thickest part of this chicken thigh. To me, it doesn't seem like this chicken is 100% done. It may be. Well, at least you could sear it and get some color on the chicken instead of this. It just looks like it's boiled. Leave that right there. Now let's cut into this. Pull the skin back. On top of that, all the seasoning that we added to this chicken to begin with is on the skin that we're taking off. So what's the point of adding the seasoning? Cut right into this. Look how juicy it is. Look at the pool. Oh, oh. Look at that. That's great. This did a great job. It did a great job. The chicken's still undercooked. Now, if you're looking at what a lot of people will call the blood, this is more myoglobin. So this is the oxygen rich iron that's in the blood. I want you to take a very good look at the texture of the actual meat. That's a lot of juice. Didn't cook well right there, so I'm not gonna eat that. See how that is? That's when you cut in and you test your meat. Shouldn't be red like that. This is okay to try those. First off, he's cutting on the edge again. He's not cutting like right in the center of the chicken leg where it's a little harder for the heat to actually penetrate. So I'm sure the rest of the chicken is even more undercooked than this. Or it could also be that Jack's oven doesn't cook at true temperature. So it's not at 350. But honestly, just think about actually serving this at the dinner table to someone that's a little squeamish. No! Now I want to give you a cooking tip. It's really simple. If there's a spot of red in your chicken, when you cut into it, literally one minute in the microwave, boof, just pops it right out. It'll cook it the rest of the way. It won't dry it out. That's a good tip. I promise you it'll work. And don't panic. It's not a big deal, okay? It's not that big of a deal and there's no need to panic. But the microwave or how Nigella Lawson says, Full fat, which I've warmed in the microwave. I'm not concerned about it drying out, but what can happen is that when you put the chicken in the microwave after a minute, after two minutes, the meat is going to be like rubber. And unless you want to bounce it off the floor, it may be a better idea just to finish it in the oven. All right, so let's try this one first. I'm going to try the McCormick one, which is dripping like crazy. Here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <clears throat> mm. Moist. Very good. I love how he like looks away from the camera. He looks down when he says, it's good. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to try mine. Mine has a big puddle. It's not dripping. A lot of moisture, though, still. But I think the McCormick bag held a lot of that moisture in. It's really cool. That's because we're using a different method of cooking. And depending on the method that you use, you will get different results. This is good. All right, here we go. Celery. Well, I wouldn't really expect him to say anything else because he's also using his seasoning, which he's trying to sell. Last test, I'm gonna take a piece of the skin because that's where most of the flavoring is. If you don't like the skin, take it off and then season your meat so it'll get into the meat. Oh, 
All right, that's good. If you're gonna be adding all these ingredients, add a little bit of oil to the chicken, add the seasoning, mix it well, and then cook it. This is a major success. The McCormick, uh, what is it, the chicken season bag? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Get one of those. I think it was like a dollar, a dollar and change. But wow, a lot of flavor, a lot of moisture. Throw veggies in there. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Kind of sounds like he was a little disappointed that he didn't beat McCormick to the idea of using a bag. Let me know down below, guys, what you think of this whole McCormick thing if you have actually used this bag yourself. To me, it seems more of a gimmick because I would actually like to see what's the maximum temperature that you can put this in the oven at before it actually melts on you. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. I would greatly appreciate it if you can help out this video and any of my other videos as well. It really means a lot to me so more people can see it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content and hit the bell notification so you know when my videos come out. Be sure to check this next video coming up here and I will see you guys again very soon. Until then, take care.